Hi, my name is Lindley Darian, and today I'm going to be discussing the racial discrimination and misappropriations um, Native Americans have faced. For centuries now, since the first Euro um, Americans settled here, we have seen Native Americans um, treated inhumanely. For example, um, something that's not often talked about in um, our textbooks, when Christopher Columbus first settled here, um, he just greatly, greatly mistreated um, Native Americans, and that was something that we don't really see in textbooks. It's often glorified that he not assimilated, but tried to integrate with them. However, um, as we've learned, that's not the case. So for centuries, um, discrimination towards Native Americans has been taking place, but today I'm going to be discussing more um, the discrimination they've faced in film and music. Um, so kind of to start off dating back to the early 20th century, um, we began to see um, blackface mystery. Um, this was a performance tactic used by um, white men in order to um, represent African American slaves. However, it wasn't used in any um, positive way. It was used more in a sense to almost make fun of them and have people view them as inhumane people and just kind of not citizens. And um, following that is when we began to see um, almost the parallel of that, but towards Native Americans called singing in red face. And again, it was almost um, identical to blackface. However, it was white men would dress themselves in red paint and attempt to not represent, but misrepresent um, Native American culture. Um, over time, non-Native Americans um, tried to create their own idea of what they believed it meant to be um, Native American. Across the United States, um, people were kind of fascinated with the idea of what it meant to be Native American um, in the beginning and wanted to try and inform and teach other people about what it meant to be Native American. Um, through Red Face and um, the idea of playing Indian, where non-natives would dress and paint and wear um, non-native clothes. This was our attempt at kind of trying to inform the public as to what it meant to be Native American. Um, young kids would do things like play um, cowboys and Indians um, at different parks and, you know, based on their perception of what they'd learned being Native American was, this was their way of doing that. Um, however, a lot of it was so misconstrued based off previous films and songs that you know, what they were doing wasn't truly being an Indian. Um, I can sort of relate to this. When I was little, my dad and I um, participated in something called Indian Princess, where my dad and I, um, we had a tribe. Um, each kind of different section of our city was a different tribe. And we do different things like archery, um, go on camping, fishing, canoeing, different things like that. And kind of after this course, I kind of learned that that was, you know, almost essentially the same thing. Um, it glorified it a lot. Um, being Native American, it didn't necessarily talk about, um, well, we never talked about the, you know, negative, you know, aspects and challenges that Native Americans face. Yeah, this is all just based off the perception of what white. Americans have created as to what it meant to be Native American. Um, however, playing Indian has been around since the beginning of time. Um, one of the most well-known examples was in 1773 with the Boston Tea Party. Um, white men dressed um, in headdresses and with, with feathers and flew over all the tea into the harbor. Um, back then, a lot of the use of playing Indian was to kind of promote a more social and political aspect of the way of life to kind of show that the um, Euro-Americans who came and took over the native land, um, they're trying to prove their point that they had power over this land and that no one was going to stop them, no matter who um, was here first. Um, however, there are a lot more recent examples. Um, for example, Pocahontas. Um, did the classic Disney princess again? This wasn't necessarily playing Indian because they did 
her character was Native American. However, it did, again, glorify and make it look like Native Americans live just happy, go lucky lives in touch with nature and animals. However, as we know, there were just, there was so much more that they faced, um, not just running into trees. Um, and also another Disney example is um, Peter Pan. In 1953, they created um, an animated character who was um, created to represent the Picanary tribe. Um, well, at the time, this wasn't necessarily seen um, highly controversial. Um, there was a song included in the movie called What Makes the Red Man Red, where um, they're again trying to describe um, what it meant to be Native American. And after this use of kind of singing red face in an animated movie, um, people found that it was very highly controversial and very racially discriminating towards Native Americans as it didn't fully represent who they were as people. So for centuries now, we've seen um, racial discrimination towards many different cultures and ethnicities. Um, that's kind of a trend in America that we've seen since back to the founding fathers who built this nation. Um, and you know, while a lot of people do associate the majority of racial discrimination being with African Americans, um, as we can see, um, Native Americans faced a lot of that discrimination too. In my personal opinion, I don't believe it's as publicized, just due to the kind of inhumane nature that we originally treated these people with. Um, however, you know, with the use of playing Indian and um, singing red face, it's led to a lot of cultural confusion for Native Americans. A lot of the younger generations have begun to kind of lose sense as to who they are as people and what their culture represents just due to the um, perceptions and personas that we've created over time. It's led them to believe what truly is my culture, where truly did I come from, which is something that's, you know, really sad that the whole culture has kind of lost touch with themselves due to um, kind of Hollywood entertainment wanting to build this image of what they want us to believe it meant to be Native American. Um, they don't want to include the hardships they face, the, um, the, the, the kind of treatment we gave them. Um, you know, we don't want to make ourselves look bad. However, it's something that I believe needs to be taught. You know, not just paint the happy picture, but give you the big picture of everything. You know, there's no use in trying to hide um, the treatment they got. That is what it is, but it needs to be taught try and end some of this discrimination and you know not let the actual native descents lose sense with who they are as people and what their culture is and help represent we need to help try and represent them or have them kind of learn more about their culture so they're able to teach us so it's you know kind of a two-way street we need to be willing to learn and try and put an end to this um century long discrimination so everyone kind of has the right idea as to what being Native American truly meant and so we can live in a more you know unified nation for everyone so thank you